Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today for you guys I have a thrift flip. I'm really excited about these items because I love like reusing and repurposing items but the stuff I have today for you guys are really really classy items but they're also a little bit sassy. I'm making like a skirt and crop top set so it kind of shows off my midriff a little bit. So let's get on to the sassy and classy thrift flip. So the first thing I'll be thrift flipping is this beautiful linen skirt I just found and I actually mentioned this in my um, kind of like thrifting haul I just did, but I just got this and it was pretty cheap. I think it was like five bucks, but it is like 100% linen and I really, really like it because it's like a maxi skirt. So for this skirt, I will be needing to take it in a couple of sizes because it is a couple of sizes too big for me. But my plan for this is actually to pair it with a black top. I will be thrift flipping next after this guy. So I want to wear them as a set. So I actually kind of wanted to keep the length of this skirt because there are beautiful slits on either side of the skirt. Also, the skirt has like really, really deep pockets that I really, really want to keep. So for the first thing that I'm going to do with these guys are I'm going to measure how much I want to take in on the sides and I'm just gonna take it in a little bit on either side of the skirt just because I don't want to mess with the pocket placement on the skirt on either side so so on both sides I'm just gonna pin it where I think that I want it to fit on my body so I'm just gonna use a safety pin and I'm going to eyeball how much I want to take it in more or less on either side and I'm just gonna keep adjusting it until I find that it's a good fit So I think that's good for now. I think that if it's still a little bit too big afterwards, I'm just gonna switch out the elastic in the back of it, but let's get on to sewing. So I need to take in the skirt quite a bit. So what I did was I just took the bottom of the kind of slit and then the top part and I kind of eyeballed this part. I do a lot of eyeballing, you guys. And I just went more or less in the middle of these two areas and I put a pin here and that's basically my marker of where I'm going to stop sewing. And so I'm going to be stitching from the top of the skirt all the way down to that point. So what I did was I started out with an elongated triangle and then I pin down the seam of that triangle and basically that is where I will be stitching to kind of like take the skirt in. So let's get on to sewing. So now all I need to do is do the same thing on the other side. So I just tried them on and they fit good. So I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting off the excess fabric. And it's done. So this shirt is the second thing I will be thrift flipping. It's kind of just your normal standard t-shirt, but has a little bit of like ruching on the top and on the bottom of it. But I kind of wanted this to be part of a set along with the linen skirt. So I really like the style of this t-shirt, but because it's going to be a set and the skirt is a little bit more high-waisted, I wanted to make this into a crop top. So to start out, I'm going to be using my sewing chalk and I'm just going to basically make a mark of where I want the crop top to end. And this is just an estimate more or less. So I made a chalk mark and I left a little bit of room for seam allowance, but I think if I am lucky and there's elastic on the bottom of the hem of this shirt, I think I might be able to reuse the elastic to make the crop top part. We have our chalk line, so I'm going to measure between the bottom hem line of the shirt and the chalk line, and I'm just gonna make the same mark all the way around. And now I'm just going to cut that part off. So I just tried it on really quick. I don't know if you can see this, but I just kind of wanted to keep it more of a crop top. So really, really short. So right as of right now, I'm really, really liking the length and I wanted to keep it more of a crop top just because I wear a lot of like high-waisted um, like skirts and shorts and pants and stuff like that. So I'm really thinking that I like the length of it. And even if I take the shirt off the shoulders, I think it is a pretty good length. So now I need to re-add in the elastic and I wanna see if I can't reuse the elastic that is inside of here. So I'm just gonna start seam ripping and then see what the elastic in here looks like. Some bad news, there is elastic inside of here, but it is stitched 
to the actual shirt itself, to the actual hemline. So I won't be using this, but that is okay because I bought some elastic yesterday for like $1.99. And let me tell you guys that elastic these days is really, really rare because of COVID. I think everyone's just using them for like face masks and stuff, but um, I don't think they use this thick of elastic on the face mask. So I got this from $1.99 and this is a half an inch um, wide elastic. So now I'm just gonna measure around my waist where, the, I, where I want the shirt to kind of sit and how snugly I want it to fit. And I'm just gonna measure it one more time just to double check. So now I'm ready to add in the elastic part. And what I did was I folded over a little bit of the shirt and then I refolded it over again. Um, just making sure that the elastic fit comfortably in there and wasn't going to move around a lot. And so I left enough room so I could get the elastic in later, but I kept it snug enough so that the elastic wouldn't like flip inside of the shirt. But I made a chalk mark of where that is. And then I'm gonna measure again the chalk line down to the bottom hem. It's about two and a quarter inch, so I'm gonna make that line all the way across the shirt. And I'm just making another white line because that's where I'm going to be making the fold crease. So now I'm going to fold on that solid white line. And then I'm going to use that to meet that other white line. And then I'm going to pin right here. So now I'm just gonna sew along where the pins are. So that's usually a lot easier to sew around the bottom hemline because usually I iron it because I just didn't want to iron it. It took me actually quite a bit longer to sew around the bottom hemline, but now I'm ready to put in the elastic. So what I do is I put a safety pin on one end of the elastic and that helps it from not kind of getting lost inside of the bottom hemline when you're kind of feeding it through. I also left a little bit of an opening. I didn't sew all the way around the bottom of the hemline. I left a little opening and I will close that up once I put all the elastic in. So guys, this is the third thing I have to show you guys that I am gonna be thrift flipping. And this is probably one of my most favorite things I have ever thrifted. This was originally from Target, but I got it from the Goodwill for like five bucks. But with this dress, I went back and forth and back and forth if I wanted to shorten the dress into kind of like a mini dress, but I kind of want to keep it longer. I saw this photo on Ashagram's Instagram account and I just said, mm. I need to keep it a long dress. And that actually makes me really happy because it's less sewing for me to do and I'm just really happy with the length that it already is. But this dress, as you guys can tell, is just a little bit too big for me. So I'll be needing to take in both sides of the dress and also the straps of the dress. And I also need to do a little bit of kind of like upkeep on the dress just because one of the belt loops this one is coming off quite a bit, so I just need to restitch that on. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pin where I think I need it to be taken in. And this one's gonna be quite easy just because I think I'm just gonna have to tailor it to my size because I'm not going to be shortening the length at all, which I am so happy about because these last two pieces have been a doozy, but I absolutely love them and I am wearing them right now because I love them so much. So I'm just gonna start out with the straps because I just have to take them in a little bit and I'm just going to measure how much I need to take off, which is about a little bit more than three inches. So all I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut it next to the seam and then I'm going to cut it about two and a half inches and then I'm going to re-sew it. Cutting things always makes me so nervous. So now I'm gonna measure out two and a half inches. And so now I'm just going to cut it off and then I'm gonna re-stitch it back to where it was on the dress. So that looks really good. So now I'm going to start on doing this, um, taking in the sides of it. So once again, I'm going to measure how much I need to take off basically by measuring how far the um, pin is from the outer edge. About an inch and three quarters. So I'm going to measure out an inch and a half to take off. And then I'm going to pin along once again where I will be sewing. So 
So it is now done, so let's go try this baby on. Thank you guys so much for watching. I feel like these videos are so much fun for me because I love doing like crafty things, but I also love like repurposing things at the same time. So thank you guys so much for watching. It really does mean a lot to me. If you guys did like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And also if you guys want to join the family, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. But I think that is it you guys. I love you guys all so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye.